um, little burglar safe uh, light that uh, Big Clive was doing a video on. Um, now I'm going to be converting this one into a bathroom light. Uh, or, you know, sort of so you can see the toilet bowl without turning a light on. You know, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't want to be dazed. So what we're going to do, uh, I've already stripped it out of its housing and I have, as per Clive's video, I have lifted this pin here, which is the one that makes it flash normally. So at the moment it doesn't flash, it just stays on permanently. So I've got some warm white LEDs from a Christmas tree light set. These are all in parallel. Um, I'm only going to be using two, but they're in a string anyway at the moment, so I'll do them all up. They should light up anyway. Um, at the moment, they won't work because the forward voltage of this LED is two volt, and these are three volt, which means this one here actually conducts before these are actually ready. So what we're going to do is I'm going to desolder this one, and then I'm going to find out which one, which lead on here is positive and which one's negative. Now I could do, do it now with a 2032 or other battery, but I haven't got one to hand at the moment, so I'm just going to do the old uh, tap it on there, and if it lights up, sweet. If it doesn't, the wrong way around. And we'll just go from there and see what happens, yeah? So set one's to... I can't do this while holding the phone, unfortunately. I wonder if I can. Hold on, I'll see if I've got a way to do this. That works. Use the soldering iron as a thingy holder. So I'm just going to hit this LED up. The LED's stuffed anyway. I'm just going to lift him up. This one, act oh, there we go. This one actually lights up um, just on the solar panel charging up the battery. So it pulls the voltage down even though it's not ready yet. So we've got that. We'll get our LED. Or LEDs. Because why not? Now this is still live, so. Just tap that, that wrong way around. Let's try it. Now these LEDs could be stuffed up for all I know. Um, the string that they were on were only partially lighting anyway, so we'll find out. You know what? I think that I think those LEDs are knackered. I think I might have to go find some more. Oh, don't short it out. Oh, no, there we go. That way. Sweet. So, this one's my... This one's my positive. Not that you can tell, it's a Christmas light set. They don't have markings on them. I'll just hold that one in my hand. Um, the radio's on, so it's probably gonna get me a copyright strike. If it does, well... I'll just do the YouTube um, mute the audio thing and see if it shuts up. Well, I might cheat and just upload this video unlisted temporarily and just see if it reckons it's a good idea or not. I mean, it's on. It's in the background. But one would think that because I've got the fan on, the lady next door's mowing a lawn and that sort of thing, that it shouldn't be too much of a drama. But, you know, that YouTube music identification thing seems to be able to pick up on stuff, even if it's just quiet. I have actually... <clears throat> there's a video on my channel. It's the um, theory test thing. Um, I was actually trying to identify a song that was a remix done by someone else. Um, I was trying to work out what the original song was. So I actually let it go for a, um, I uploaded it to YouTube, and at the time it wasn't available, um, or wasn't known, because you, if you've got <clears throat> uh, an Android phone, if you go to the Google search thing, hit the, and it hears music, it'll come up with a little music icon, you can actually use that to do track ID, um, pretty much what Shazam does, and what um, the old um, track ID, which is why I call it that, the old track ID does on um, old Sony Ericsson mobile phones. Um... Yeah, but yeah, so I just uploaded it on there until I got a <laughs> notification saying, um, this song isn't yours, you really should, uh, <laughs> shouldn't be using it. And yeah, that's how I got the track name for it, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know, just using technology. <laughs> but yeah, so there we go. That's been modified. It is actually surprisingly bright. I mean, th these are warm whites, which is the colour I actually prefer my LEDs to be. 
uh, when it comes to white. Um, but yeah, so that's all of those, that, that's those four working off this. Um, now, Big Clive's video when he showed this um, showed that the whole thing was drawing, you know, the milliamp rating was whatever the battery voltage was, so 1.2 for a, uh, 1.2 milliamps or whatever. It's a 60 milliamp hour battery, but that's from fully charged to flat. So by rights, it should run these LEDs. Um, I'm going to guess probably a good 12 hours minimum, um, but it's only going to have two on there. Um, though I'm going to assume that the current that comes out is more or less consistent regardless of how many LEDs are on it. The LEDs just get dimmer. But that there, yeah, you know, oh, put that there. If I expose the panel to a bit of a bit of light, it turns off, on, off, on, off. Cool. Well, all I've got to do now is modify the casing and just put it back together. But that's pretty much hacked on. I'm happy with that. All in the time it takes to play Sweet Child of Mine by uh, Guns N' Roses. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thanks for watching.